Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here at Maji the Priestess. Today I have another tea, all right? Y'all already know Maji got the tea. I'm over here with another video. I'm really feeling like love is in the air, guys. For real, for real, for real. I really feel like love is in the air, okay? For somebody here, remember this is a collective reading. Only take what resonates, leave what doesn't, guys. If this reading is your reading, make sure you claim it on the comments down below. All right. Wow, the eyes of beauty. Ooh. So here's the tea, y'all. Here is the tea. Um, so in this love reading, okay, this is the energy that I'm getting. The more you ignore this person, whoever this person is for you, okay, this may be an ex that you're trying to get back with. This could be a friends with benefits. This could be somebody you're crushing on, somebody that's crushing on you. I don't know. Okay, but this is a love reading. Um, the more you ignore this person, the more they want you is what I wrote down in this card, okay? And I also did get another channel love message, which I may or may not do right after this one, but I will deliver it some point this week. All right, so the more you ignore this person collective, whoever you are, the more you ignore this person. Oh my God, what's that card? I have to find it. The more you ignore this person, the more they want you. And you know what's crazy? What's crazy about this reading is that this person, you were chasing this person. This was a connection that you used to chase this person around and maybe they took you for granted. They, they you know what I mean? They, they were, I'm hearing a player. This was somebody that may, might have some, commitment issues or something but you are somebody very beautiful very handsome very attractive yeah the eyes of beauty this is the card i'm looking for i don't know why i put it back but you are the swan uh uh queen here the swan king you have that divine feminine care intuition that patience okay it's like you transform their, this person yeah that's what i'm getting you this person is watching you transform okay the number 13 here might be significant for you. But the Eyes of Beauty card here says positive expectations and clarity. But I feel like, look at this card. It's like this person looks into your eyes and I feel like you mesmerize them. You got me so hypnotized the way your body moving around and around. Maybe you guys are dancers. You could be 25 years old, born on the 25th. This person feels like that you could have met this person during covid COVID-19, 2020, um, cause I'm getting like that, that face mask kind of thing. Okay. Um, you could also somebody here in, if this is your message, you might also be into like cosplaying. All right. Maybe you dressed up like a fairy for Halloween or something magical, but you have something magical about you for sure. You could be an earth sign for sure here. Uh, Virgo Capricorn toward the eyes of beauty. So your eyes have beauty. You've captured this person's soul with this beauty that you have in this patience. You've taught this person a lot. And I feel like you have turned into an iced, cold bitch. I'm going to be straight up. You turn into a B-I-T-C-H because it was like, you know what? I'm not going to chase you. I'm done chasing you. The swan queen keeps following around. So you're you're like yeah you're becoming more pure some of you guys right now might literally be celibate you're being celibate right now you're clearing off your energy you're just making sure everything's good okay so i feel like you you're turning your back on this person you're not taking any action you're not texting this person you're not calling this person and i feel like right now they feel like they can't figure you out because they're they probably for some of you not for everybody for some for some of you this person might feel like are you seeing somebody else? Are you over me? You know what I mean? And it's making them want to come back. Come back to you. This could be a reconciliation here. Or this could also be somebody that you just started speaking to. And I feel like they hit you up on the DMs or they text you, they email me. And I feel email you. So I feel like the more that you ignore them, the more they want you. It's the kind of energy, okay? So you could be using a tactic. This could be you being you, like you're just valuing yourself. Or this is something that you know about this person. So you're like, you know what? I'm going to ignore this person, play some mind games. <laughs> Somebody here is a dancer. This person finds you like very mysterious. And I feel like you're somebody that like carries beauty, just like your energy, but also like 
yeah it's like even if people don't see your face there's something beautiful about you like maybe when they listen to your voice this person in particularly because like her face is covered but she has beautiful eyes so eyes are the window to the soul so this person might feel like you're very deep you could read into their soul we have the sun dancers that's a confirmation here that somebody here is a belly dancer or hip-hop dancer modern dancing you do something ballet dancer okay it says joyful activity celebration of life and abundance so yeah this person see feels like you have a lot of abundance we have the wheel of fortune and the lovers coming out this is a faded connection okay so i'm speaking about you this is somebody that you are meant to meet cross pathways and you did this person definitely wants to celebrate life with you they want to reconcile here okay and um this could be a gemini with jupiter in their chart or this could be you somebody feels very lucky to have met you expect something positive expect clarity expect abundance in this connection there's some sort of joyful celebration okay this could be like a party a gathering this could also mean a reconciliation yeah this person angelic help look you're both deceive, receiving divine guidance and angelic help see this angel right here it's like both driving you guys to a serendipitous faded event here maybe this is how you met comment down below you might have met this person like out of the blue something like that just wouldn't happen out of the ordinary kind of scenario but these angels here are telling me that this is a divine connection all right all is happening the way that it should be and i feel like ahem, this person is looking at you and you are the spiritual one you're looking at god you're looking at spirit you're following your intuition you're calling and this person is staring at you okay they love staring at you your eyes your beauty your soul you you are receiving angelic help or this person is that that could mean their intuition here i feel like the more you focus on yourself the more you're attracting this person right because you sort of are like this attaching from the outcome of how this relationship would be <laughs> i'm like super uncomfortable right now hold on we have your name could be alice by the way if you're a female here or your person's name could be alice we have the woman of wonderland here okay you guys need to compromise let's see tell me more about the lovers here so the lover speaks about making a decision so this person might feel like yeah wow look sacred union y'all sacred union this is like the two of cups look at this this person wants to be your hero your knight shining armor and this is who they truly are it's a sacred union it's a sacred partnership and the swan always speaks about twin flames so i'm really getting twin flames guys because the swans last forever you know that's that divine feminine energy this is a sacred partnership that's why the angels are helping you both that's why this person feels like meeting you was a miracle yeah so like i said this is all happening this way so that this divine masculine or this divine feminine awakens and understands that like maybe they have to do the chasing now rather than you doing the chasing we have the shadow queen acquiring knowledge insecurity manipulation yeah somebody here in this connection is using some sort of manipulation this could be a third party somebody's using some sort of magic i'm also hearing beauty spell for some of you somebody's using some sort of like tarot reading uh, divination to look into you or this connection we'll we'll definitely check this out but there is some shadow aspects in this connection the spiral dancer another card of dancing okay maybe this person and you met at a dancing place at a party something or they they want to take you out dancing or you could be a performer make sure you comment down below guys give maji the tea so we get we get these confirmations There's something very sensual about you, your body, your belly button here. If you're a female, um, your curves, like I said, something about a belly dancer or the way you move that's coming through over here. Give me one more. The ice queen the ice queen this is that queen of swords that b-i-t-c-h this is you giving this person the cold shoulder it says non-action entitlement ideas preserved see right now you're not texting this person you're not calling this person 
you're literally focused and you're like you're focused on the bigger picture you're focusing on yourself um and i feel like you are following spirit you're like you know what i'll wait for my angel's assistance i'm not making any moves you have got to come to me i know my worth i'm not taking any action you know what i feel entitled right now somebody comment down below i feel entitled okay like yeah i'm hearing come to me spell somebody was using like a come to me spells to like either get to you or you was doing this to them yeah this person is receiving signs about you my love they could literally be seeing your name everywhere or you could be seeing their name but look you you could have met this person online we have divine intelligence synchronicity like there's a lot of synchronicities in this connection that you're both getting telling you like listen you know that this is real you both feel something but i feel like right now you are definitely chilling you sleeping you chilling you could be dreaming about this person you could be craving this person but i feel like you're still holding back you're like you know what no um spirit is also giving you the tea like what's happening in the 5d what's happening behind the scenes i really feel that right now clarify the wheel of fortune and the lovers yeah three of cups reconciliation celebration this person yeah it's like you either met at a party or this person wants to um reconcile with you or there's something about you dancing going out dancing with this person comment down below what this is for somebody yeah it's like somebody's rushing very fast towards you and yeah this is somebody that was literally taking small steps towards you they were taking their time but now they rushing because look they had an epiphany they had a tower moment in their life they had enlightenment spirit showed them something Again, this person is seeing you in a different light, in a different perspective. Their expectations of you have suddenly changed. And your expectation might have changed too. I feel like you're standing your ground, whoever I'm speaking to. You're standing your ground. Let me, let me pick up this chair a little. Oh, here we go. That should be good. We have the King of Cups, water sign energy. Again, this, this person has deeper feelings than they're showing you at this time. Clarify the lovers. Strength, okay? This person feels like they're weak around you. They need strength. They've been praying for strength. They really feel, this is somebody that feels like they need to rush towards you. Reconcile. Somebody wants a second chance. They, they dealt with some sort of judgment or they feel like they misjudged this connection. You're the star, my love. See, this this person has anxiety. They feel like they're in the brink to lose you. They have some, they're dealing with some sort of inner conflict, nightmares, having nightmares of losing you. I feel like this person is feeling like, hey, I'm I'm willing to fight for you. I will beat up anybody if they come near you. You're mine. I'm getting this possessive energy. But I'm also feeling like this person and you are dealing with a lot of spiritual attacks as you're sleeping. Oh, this person might get a lot of anxiety at the moment because they're dealing with some sort of drama or conflict in their life. But I feel like you give them hope or they're kind of keeping hope in this connection. Maybe there could have been a fight that you dealt with it with this person. But there's a third party or a heartbreak that happens here. But this person is hoping to confess these feelings, to apologize, to message you. There is something that is hidden here. I'm hearing like, yeah. Three of Swords. It's like this person wants to heal this broken heart. This could be trauma. Look, you're very attractive and this person holds a lot of love and care for you. This person is, is in fact like deep in the deep end with you already. Um, the star also signifies like you could be in the public eye. You could be a star. You could be an Aquarius. You could be a healer. Um, yeah, there's something beautiful about you. Like I said, you stand out amongst the rest. There's something very beautiful about you. What's this Three of Swords? This person feels hurt or you might feel hurt or there could be a third party interference. You are the empress though. This person knows that your wife, husband material, that you are that swan energy, right? Divine feminine energy. This person wants to have kids with you. There could be a third party baby mother or baby father blocking this connection. Take what resonates. I don't know. This person feels like there's a lot of potential in you and that you're like a very strong person. But there is some type of like jealousy, deception, possession, something coming. Yeah, somebody getting like doing beauty spells on you. This person may have a black cat or yeah, they're trying to block you, make you stuck, self-sabotage here. Six of Cups. You and this person have a past life connection. And this is somebody from the past, okay, that is running back. 
this person is running back to you they cannot stop thinking about the memories the times that you both share they're ready to work on this connection and put in the work i'm hearing work 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 you say you did me dirt 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 this person might have done you dirt yo this person might have done you dirt and cut all communication with you just literally dumped you cut you out even if you never dated this person they could have just literally been like it's over um but you transformed them now they're like i'm not gonna give up i won't give up on us even if the stars get rough i'm giving you all my love i'm still looking up and when i'm seeing your face this person might like to sing or you might like to sing they may like your voice we have the devil capricorn yeah, I'm hearing my Eric Carey. Why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I wanna know. You lying there, you sexing me when everybody knows. This, her, this person is hoping and praying that you haven't been sleeping with nobody else, that you haven't been giving it to nobody else if you slept with this person. That's only for a few of you if you slept with this person. This person does not want to give up now. Come with me, stay the night. If you say the words, boy, it don't feel right. See, two of cups. I'm hearing it's just a little too late. Now they watching you. They just watching you, admiring you, secretly admiring you, all right? That's the truth. See, this is a player. This is a player who has gained clarity about who they want, what they want, and now they're coming through Sagittarius energy here. Now they want justice, Libra energy. Let's see what this love oracle has to say. Guys, I have been trying to upload two videos today. I have not forgotten about you. It's just the YouTube uploads here. Um, maybe it's because I'm not in New York or something. I don't know, but it's been quite annoying. Like, So I hope that by the time I upload this one, the other two have uploaded. If not, everything in divine timing, right? What's the rush anyways? This person is watching you from afar. They're studying you. This person is obsessed with you. They like, they feel like you You might be, for some of you, they might feel like you're out of reach or they're just hoping and praying like you're like a wish come true to this person. All right, tell me about this, uh, this person who feels like the more the collective ignores them, the more they want you. Let go of control issues exactly it's like right now you're going with the flow you're no longer controlling the outcome or if this person's reaction you're kind of like you know what i'm just gonna trust in my angels i'm gonna let things unfold naturally and i feel like this person is feeling like they're losing control of you that's also something that might be bugging them though they really feel a very deep sacred connection with you because it's amplified by the two of cups again on this deck then we got wedding this person might be married to somebody else or um, they see you as marriage material here. Yeah, this person has romantic feelings for you. Children might be affecting this connection. This person could be married with kids, going through a divorce. Um, yet they want to give a relationship a chance. You may have children. That could be the conflict or religious factors. Maybe you both have different religious, different beliefs, you know, different morals. But yeah, like I said, this person wants you back. Reconciliation. Every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back, me back, telling me I need you in my life. Every time I try to go, something keeps telling me that, me that, everything gonna be all right. See, this person knows, like, no matter how many times they leave, that, like, there's something sacred and magnetic about you both. That no matter how many times they leave, it's like, you you always have this pull on them. You, you know what I mean? And vice versa. But there's a reconciliation here. This person literally wants to come back. All right? They feel like you're definitely the one that's worth waiting for. The one that they've waited for. I'm going to get some cards from here. And then I'll close out this reading. How do we end this reading, Spirit? Anything else about this connection? Yeah. Literally, Spirit is speaking right now. Giving the tea. You chose to love yourself. You're loving yourself. 
you're connecting with your divine masculine divine feminine energy you're creating oneness with yourself it's very admirable this person is seeing you love yourself choose yourself empower yourself with confidence you know who you are you're very radiant very attractive again the queen of wands is literally the goddess of beauty to me okay spirit saying you did it you ended a toxic cycle you broke that pattern when you started to choose yourself and then this is what you're attracting what you always wanted maybe you want this person maybe not for some of you but for those who want this person you have to attract this person back by choosing yourself by loving yourself by bringing all that energy back to yourself so there's not really an imbalance there you know yeah speak up more like i said it's like you learned how to speak up more you told this person what you want what you don't want you you know how to speak up to your haters all right hi haters bye haters shit you know that real love you found out what's that real love and that is the love that you have for yourself the more you love yourself the more the person that you meet or the one that you love will love you more as well okay um but I feel like this is a real love that you're manifesting. There will be communication with the bird here. And I feel like this person is going to speak up more. Or maybe like you just you just became, you're on that queen of swords energy. Like, you know what? I'm going to say what I got to say, how I got to say you. No fucking shame. All right? I'm going to tell you how much you hurt me. I'm not going to hold back. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't care if you judge me. I love myself. I know my worth. Right? That's the kind of energy that you're possessing right now. What is this empress status? The empress energy, which we already saw, that divine feminine energy. So it's like you already living that bougie life. You already know your worth. Even if you broke, even if you don't have that luxury, you're like acting. You're living as if you're dressing better. Some of you guys went through a glow up where you're dressing better. You're looking cleaner. You're, uh, your attitude, your aura is exuding this like powerful maybe you started wearing heels more often you started to you know activate that empress energy where you're looking like bucks you're looking like money right now birds i'm hearing love birds yeah good heart see you started to work on your heart chakra here this person loves that you are an empath that you have a good heart your own spirit guides love you because you have such a good heart and you are going into an empress status here where you are royalty you know that you're gold you know that you're meant to live a high life you know and you know better now you learn the lessons you know better now you're healing your ancestors here you started working on your healing you started to love yourself and now it's like payback is a bitch See, for some of you guys, really, you're not going back to this person. They're going to want to reconcile. But I'm hearing payback is a bitch. They should have known better. They should have known better. They should have never. No, no. Now you're like, listen, I respect myself. I know myself. You can't just come back to me like nothing. Like with just an apology, my nigga. What? Who you think this is? Do you not know who I is? Look, hell yeah. Spirit's like, hell yeah. Your own spirit guys are literally high-fiving you like, yo, I am seriously so proud of you because now you put yourself in an empress status that you can't just date nobody. You can't just date a knight. You can't just date a princess. You can't just date a king. You can't just date a queen. You gotta, you gotta marry an emperor. If you're an emperor, you gotta marry an empress. It's like you're starting to realize this power that you're holding within and you only want not necessarily like a gold digger luxury. Like you want only what's best for you once you love yourself it's like you you're going out on dates with yourself you're spoiling yourself you're shopping you're taking yourself out on trips you're doing things more independently and um it's just making you more more desirable really is what i'm getting here it's making you more desirable bottom of the deck we got self-respect R-E-S-P-C-T. Tell me what that means to me. You know, you know what that means to you. Now you're like, listen, I respect myself. Now you're going to respect me. Maybe last time I let you in my life very easily. I let you fool me. I give in to you. But guess what? Right now, you, you think you can just come back with a little bit of flowers or a date or a simple apology? Cry me a river is what i'm hearing cry me a river like this is messages for somebody it won't resonate with everybody but you know your respect now you know yourself you know that nobody can love you the way that you love yourself so you're looking for that better half that beautiful thing and there will be a reconciliation right there is a resurrection here for some of you this is really lo real love 
but this person had to learn their lesson and you were their karma you have been this person's karma to realize wow i really fucked up i really regret not seeing his or her worth you are you taught this person a very valuable lesson the hard way because we saw the tower so shit was not easy it was not easy okay guys i hope this reading resonated brought you love light and healing if you'd like to donate to my channel information's down below don't forget to cop the merch god hire me who's gonna fire me hoodies and t-shirts are on the bottom it's in every color you can pick up your favorite color just feel that beautiful empowering affirmation on your body and um yeah thank you guys so much all right till next time